tragedies are commonplace. All kinds of diseases, people are slipping away. Economy's down, people can't get enough pay. But as for me, all I can say is thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Folks without homes out in the streets and the drug habits some say they just can't be. Mothers and robbers, no place seems to be safe. But you've been my protection every step of the way. And I want to say thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Yeah, because it could have been me. taking care of us as we went down this dangerous highway. We thank him that we're able to praise him freely in his house. And most of all, we thank him for saving our souls. And I, I don't know about you, but I thank him this morning. And so while we're here, we give honor to him. 
because he makes ways out of no way. To our deacon staff, to the choir that sung so beautifully here this morning, and to all of my father's children here in the Morning Star family and on the web, it's good to be here. Amen. Usher, you may be seated. I got y'all working overtime today. Amen. Now, I know you're looking at me. I'm looking at you. And I am I know you got on your mind, is there a word from the Lord? I come by to say that there is. Matter of fact, that last song, well, both of them songs, gave me confirmation on what I'm speaking of this morning. Amen. Amen. Turn with us to the 107th number of Psalm. Amen. And we're going to read just verse 1 and 2. Amen. You get a chance, you go ahead and you get home and, and read that whole 107th number of Psalm. It'll bless you. Amen. As my dear would say, it'll bless your spirit. Hallelujah. <laughs> one oh seven. Psalms one oh seven. Verse one and two. You have to say amen. amen. If not, say wait a minute. Amen. And it reads like this. Oh give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. For his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. May God have a blessing to the reading of his awesome word. I talk with you briefly with the aid of the Holy Spirit from the thought speak out. <laughs> Speak out. Has the Lord God redeemed you? I'm talking about has anyone been cleared of the sin payment that by the blood of Jesus? We need more say so Christian. Yes, let the redeem of the Lord say so. Don't go around complaining and criticizing. If we are Christians, tell others how good God is. He's good. Yes, he is. But he doesn't have a good reputation in the world today. God's reputation is bad. Yeah, reputation is what a person thinks about you. Yeah, God doesn't have many friends in the court among the multitude of people in this world. No champions or defenders, and few testify on his behalf. There are few to take are their witness stand and say good words about Jesus on his behalf. If you doubt that, look around. Consider the pagan and heathen religion. They con their concept of God is terrifying. He's pictured as a God that will destroy and not save. A God that is difficult to approach and takes no personal interest in his creatures, nor does he love them. Yes, the average person today lives in a land with, uh, uh, with a, a veil of, 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 amen, we're going to get it together, amen, <laughs> with the veil 
uh, of citizenship, a small amount of education. Yes, with a little Christian culture smeared on them like facial cream. Yeah, but to them, God isn't a person uh, that is critical. He's not a person uh, that you can be at arm's length. He's not considered a good neighbor. Yeah, he's very hard to please. Yeah, most people think of God as a policeman that's waiting around the corner to catch us in our wrongdoing. Yeah, that's uh, what they think about our God. But if anyone is going to say uh, that God is good, yeah, it would have to be his redeemed one. Yes, God is good, y'all. He's good all the time. And all the time, our God is good. Yeah, that isn't a principle. Yeah, it isn't a proposition of that a subject to be proved. Yeah, it's not a cliche and it's not a slogan. Yeah, it isn't propaganda. That information that, uh, that is designed to mislead or persuade others. But it's just the truth. That our God is good. Yeah, has the Lord redeemed you? Then you ought to speak out. Yeah, stop being silent. Tell, letting folk tell you how to serve our God. Yeah, we ought to speak out. Because we know that he is good. Yeah, God has done so much for us. And we have so much to thank him for. Yeah, every part of us should praise his holy name. Yeah, our souls should praise the Lord and never forget how kind he is. Yeah, he forgave us of all of our sins and healed us of our sicknesses. Yeah, he saved us uh, from the grave and he gives us uh, love and compassion. Yeah, he gives us plenty of good things. Yeah, he makes us feel young again, like an eagle that grows new feathers. Yeah, the Lord does uh, what is fair to us, and he brings justice to all who have been hurt by others. Yes, the Lord is kind and merciful. Yeah, he's patient and fulfilling to all of us. Yeah, he does not uh, always criticize. And he doesn't stay angry long. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad that he doesn't stay angry long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, he, we sinned against him. Yeah, but he didn't give us the punishment that we deserve. Yes, uh, his love for us is high above the heavens as the heaven is above the earth. Yes, and uh, he takes our sins as far away from us as east is to west. Yes, the Lord is kind to his followers as a father is to his child. Yes, uh, we know that all of, he knows all about us. Yes, and he made us uh, as the dust of the earth. He knows our lives are short. That all, that he loves us uh, and that we'll continue to keep on loving us until eternity rolls. Yes, everything Oh, the Lord has made to praise him. I'm going to praise him. Can't let no rock cry out for me. I'm going to praise him because I know what he's done for me. I'm going to praise him because he didn't have to wake us this morning. He didn't have to close us in our right mind. He didn't have to give us a portion of health and strength. But I'm so glad that he did. I'm going to praise him because he paid the sin debt for me and for you. And yes, aren't you glad here today that he's our Lord and our Savior. And no matter what folk may say about him, I'm going to praise him because he's good. Jesus wants 
us to tell everybody. Don't leave nobody out of what he's done for you and for me. Yeah, these verses this morning aren't mandated for us to witness. Yeah, but it declares that when we live in God's presence, we will be able to keep, or we won't be able to keep these glorious experiences to our Savior. What glorious experiences are you talking about? I'm talking about uh, that conversion power, that saving power. When it reached way down to pick me and you up. Yes, as Acts 1 and 8 says, you will receive power and ability after the Holy Spirit has to come upon you. And you will be able to witness to people about me. Yes, uh, we will have power to have courage uh, uh, when we should be scared. We'll have power of boldness, power of confession, power of insight, and power of ability and authority. Oh, what kind of authority do we have this morning? Oh, we have the authority to claim that Jesus is our Lord and Savior. We got to have power to tell a dying world that the wages of the sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. We got to have power to when we talk to folks, it'll convict their lives because we got God on our side. Yeah, if we believe in Jesus Christ, yes, and His authority as our Lord and Savior, we have experienced the power that He puts on the inside of us that calls the Holy Spirit. Yes, when we have been, uh, have the power of the Holy Spirit, then we can say that we've been reconciled. We've been redeemed. We've been bought with a price. Uh, for 2 Corinthians 5 and 18 said, But all those things are of God, whom reconciled us uh, uh, to himself through Christ Jesus, yeah, making us acceptable to him and giving us the ministry of reconciliation uh, so that we are examples of his mighty work to bring to others to himself. God brings us back uh, to himself and he blotted out our sins. Yes, he did. Yes, he, oh, he brought us back and made us right for him. Yeah, when we trust in Christ, yeah, we're no longer God's enemy. We're no longer a stranger. We're no longer a father to him. But because of him reconciling us, yeah, we have the privilege to encourage somebody else to tell them about our God. Is there anybody in here this morning that don't mind speaking out? Is there anybody here this morning that know God is your own and all? Is there anybody in this place that can tell them that I've been redeemed. I've been bought uh, with a price. Jesus uh, has changed uh, my whole life. If anybody asks you just who I am, uh, you can tell them uh, that I've been redeemed. Uh, let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Because we've been brought uh, out of the hands of the enemy. Oh, let the Redeemer of the Lord say so. Because he washed over you. Yes, he did. He brought you from one degree to another. Let the Redeemer of the Lord say so. We've been quiet too long. We've been sitting on our do-nothing too long. It's time for us uh, to tell the world that we belong to Jesus. Oh, I was down in Sarah Valley. I didn't go to stay. But my soul got happy. And I stayed all day. What you mean, Reverend, when Jesus uh, came into my life, uh, he changed me. 
Is there anybody in this place that's happy that he changed you? Is there anybody in this place that know you wasn't fit to live and you was too scared to die? But Jesus showed up around the hand. I said, glad here today that Jesus is still our friend. That Jesus is our all in all. That Jesus is our Savior.